Michael Phelps, that rap scallion, he's at it again. No, it's not pot again. This time, he reportedly drank for a couple of hours and then solicited two strippers for a threesome. His reasoning behind this whole scheme? He never had a threesome before. Does that excuse really work? Good God. What else am I missing out on in life? If I go to a bank and say, I've never had a million dollars before, are they just gonna fork over some cash? No, that wouldn't work. Because I've already tried it. Apparently you have to be famous already and actually have money to do that kind of thing. Who knew? I didn't. Anyway, this guy is totally my new role model now. No, it's not because he won Olympic gold. It's not because he's just an in-shape swimmer dude. You want to know why? One, he had a three-way with two strippers. Two, said three-way lasted three hours while drunk. That's physically impossible for a normal human being. And three, he had a three-way with two strippers. Need I say more? All of this begs the question, does it suck to be a role model? At least in the way a role model is typically looked at. A fine, upstanding young gentleman wows the world with his swimming prowess, and all of a sudden he becomes a pariah for indulging in a few drug-induced three-ways? Give me a break! The guy's a human being! We've all done things like this, or we've at least wanted to, but because a person is famous, all the sins and vices in the world are off-limits now? If that's the price of fame, screw ever being famous. An automatic red flag for anything you do that could be considered even remotely wrong? No thanks. It kinda saddens me when people get gasp and get up in arms about celebrities having nude photos or when they're recorded saying something that's less than politically correct. Especially when there's swine flu to worry about. You didn't see that coming, did you? I just slipped it right in there, worked it in. That's what she said. It does kind of make sense though. With all the screwed up things that are happening in the world right now, people being fixated on whose boobs are in what pictures, who flipped out on a movie set, or who had sex with an entire pro football's cheerleading team seems kind of pointless. Yes, Rihanna has boobs. Who to thunk it? You get the point. Everybody has nude photos now. It's not news anymore. It'll be news when Rihanna has a penis and I didn't know about it. It'll be news when Carrie Prehan is actually the first transgendered person to be crowned Miss America. Boobs, threesomes, spread eagle, who cares anymore? So, since I didn't really think of an ending for this episode, would you like to see who my next role model is? Yep.